So let's continue. So again, equal steps. Meaning to say, the elements in a, a set, there are two sets. The elements are the same. The number of the elements and elements are the same. So we can call it as equal set. So here we have set A is equal to set B or A equals B. Remember that in doing this, the order of the elements or possible repetition of the elements does not matter. Must be disregarded. Okay? So let's talk about equivalent sets. When we talk about equivalent sets, we have here two sets. What matters here if you're talking about equivalent sets is the number of elements. So they are equivalent sets if the elements, the number of elements are the same. So here, if two sets are equal, then they must be equivalent. Okay? However, if two sets are equivalent, they are not necessarily equal. Okay, so let's have an example. So we have here set A and set B. Set A here, we have the elements are A, B, C, D. Then set B here, we have B, C, D, A. Therefore, set A and set B are equal sets. Why is it that they are not to be equal sets? Because they have the same number of elements. Here, set A has four. Set B has also four elements. And the elements that are found in set A are just the same elements found in B. While here, in our second example, A, the elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And in our second set, we have B, we have I, J, K, L, and M. They are not equal sets, but they are equivalent sets. Why? Why are they equivalent sets? Because they only have the same number of elements. Set A has five members or five elements. B has also the same number of the elements, which is equal to five. Okay? So, uh, our first example, this is an equal set. It is also known an equivalent set. Our second example, it is not an example of equal set, but it, it is an equivalent set. Okay. So let's have some, some more. Okay. So which collections are not well defined and therefore not sets? Okay, so when we talk about well-defined sets, these are sets which are very specific. Meaning to say, the thought is there, which prescribe, let's say, specific details of the element. Okay, for example, the collection of days in a week. Well, it is very obvious. It is well defined. So, it is a set. Because when we talk about the collection of days in a week, so we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. How many elements do we have? We have seven elements. Therefore, it is a well defined set. Another, the collection of your favorite days in a week. Based from this, it may vary. It may change. Today might be your favorite day because it's your birthday. Or there are reasons behind because this is very subjective. We cannot say that my favorite day might be the same as yours. No. Therefore, this is not a set. And this is not also well defined because it may vary. Your the collection of favorite days, it could be sun, Sunday and Saturday because it's those are weekends. Or your favorite uh, day might be Friday. 
so it varies so this is not a well-defined set another example of well-defined set let's say the set of months in a year that is a well-defined set because from january to december there are 12 elements of that specific word description another example of not well defined let's say the set of uh, books inside the library what is specific book is it mathematics book is it geography book is it let's say uh, biology book so it's not well defined there are different collection of books that can be found in the library therefore it is not a well-defined set but it it will become well-defined when you say the set of all mathematics book in high school definitely that is a well-defined book okay then we have here okay example to april august this is given in roster method because we had here april and august as let's say as listed down let's say if you're going to describe this in terms of word word description this is the set of months that begin with letter a okay so what are those months that begin with letter a this is a well-defined set because we have April and August, no other months begin with letter A. Then next, we have 9, 10, 11, 12, and 25. This is again in roster method. If you are going to express this in word description, this means to say that the set of natural numbers between 9 and 25, including both 9 and 25. So... Because you see here the word between, maybe you are thinking that we have 10 until 24. But it is very inclusive that you're going to include both 9 and 25. And 9, 10, 11, 12 until you reach number 25, it is a well-defined set. And these numbers are counting numbers or a part of the set of natural numbers okay then next we are going to write this in roster method we have here let's say uh, word description in describing a set the set of months that have exactly 30 days so what are those months that have 30 days so we have april june september and november so this is the answer okay we have april june september november if you are going to talk about again the cardinality of this given set it is equal to four okay then uh, how about this we have here a set builder notation then you are simply going to express it in terms of roster method the set of all x such that x is a natural number and 6 is lesser than and lesser than or equal to 10. Okay, this is the set of natural number wherein we have numbers which are lesser than c yet lesser than or equal to 10 definitely we have 7 8 9 10 this is not the the listed method or the listing method we have here different elements prescribed by this set builder notation okay so we have here another example write these sets in roster method okay the set of all x such that x added by 5 equals 7 then if you're going to solve this you're simply going to think of 
what value of x that would give that would give 7 so here by simply following the description here what value of x when added by 5 it would be equal to 7 definitely the answer is 2 okay then here the last one the set of all x such that x is less than 0 and bigger than 5 or greater than 5 what's the answer it is less than 0 but greater than 5 or n greater than 5 the answer it is an null set or an empty set because there is no such element which can be lesser than 0 yet greater than 5 okay so this is all about uh, basic concepts about set okay so thank you